What is going on everybody, my name is Robert Watkin and welcome back to another tutorial. So in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to increase Vegas Pro's autosave frequency. This is for in case of the event where you've had a crash happen in Vegas Pro and you need to recover a save file. You want to make sure that that save file is as up to date as possible so you're not losing a lot of work. Now to increase the autosave frequency, you're going to want to go up to the top of Vegas Pro when you have it open and click on the options panel. You're then going to hold shift and press preferences and you will see an internal panel here. If you don't hold shift when you click preferences, you won't get that internal panel. So if we do this again without holding shift, you'll see that there is no internal option. So let's go back into options here, hold shift and press preferences. Now clicking on the internal panel. Then you're going to click on this little box at the bottom and type in MS auto save internal and you can see here the default value is 300,000. The numbers in this case represent milliseconds so you're going to want to change this to a lower value. In this case the 300,000 milliseconds represents 300 seconds or better known 5 minutes. So for example if you wanted it to auto save every 1 minute you would change it to 60,000 milliseconds which would be the same as 60 seconds or if you want to increase the frequency even more you could go down to any low number i wouldn't recommend going too low because the more vegas pro is trying to auto save the less performance you're going to get while editing because it's going to be so focused on trying to save your work constantly i'd say a good value to have is maybe 30 to 60 seconds so 30,000 to 60,000 if your computer can't handle that and you find it's taking too long to do the auto saves then just increase it to something a little bit higher. In this case, I'm going to keep it at 60,000, so I'm going to be auto-saving every 60 seconds. So once you've determined a value you want to keep it at, you're simply going to click on Apply at the bottom here, and then click OK. And that's it. That's how you increase your auto-save frequency. It's very easy, and it's going to save you a lot of time in the long run if you do end up having a crash. I will be creating another updated video next on how to actually recover from a crash and find the autosave file, so keep an eye out for that. If you did like this video and you found it helpful, then leave a like down below, I'd really appreciate it. And consider subscribing to the channel if you would like to see more tutorials. If there are any other tutorials you would like to see, then just comment them down below and I'll have a look at them and possibly do them for future tutorials. But that is going to be it for this video, guys, so thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video of whatever I make. Bye!